Welcome to Microsoft Excel Expert Level 11, brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost, author of The Complete Idiot's Guide to Excel 2010. In today's class, we're going to talk about a couple of different topics. First, we're going to go over something I call video time conversion. I've got a list of videos with times in basically a text file, and I'm going to teach you how to break them up and convert them into a different format. Now, this is just a simple example that takes a lot of different things that we learned over the last bunch of classes and puts them all together. And you'll see what I mean when we get into that lesson. There's, there's find, left, right, mid, division, there's all kinds of crazy stuff. Then the big topic is XLOOKUP. This was recently added to Excel 2019. It was actually added in March of 2020. So if you haven't updated Excel, you may or may not have this yet. But it's a great function. It replaces both VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP, and it's got lots of new features, and you'll see what those are in just a few minutes. And then, pretty much a bonus feature, I'm going to break open the Developer tab, and I'm going to teach you how to put combo boxes in your spreadsheet so your users can pick from a list of options and store that value that's selected in a cell in your spreadsheet. I normally cover that in my developer lessons because it's a little more advanced, but I'm going to show you today because it just kind of fits. I am using Microsoft Excel 2019, and lesson one will work with pretty much any version of Excel, but the XLOOKUP stuff especially only works in 2019. I have Office 365, which is a subscription. I strongly recommend that. That way you always have the latest version of Excel automatically installed, downloaded, and set up on your computer for you. The prerequisite to this course is my Excel 2010 Expert Level 10 class. Now, I know it says Excel 2010, but it's it's been a while since I've released a new Excel class. However, up until recently, Excel really hasn't changed much. There's a lot of new stuff that's come out um, in 2019, including some feature changes. Like, they, they did some modifications with charting and stuff that I'm going to go over. I'm going to make a series of upgrading two lessons to cover some of the differences. But if you've got 2007 and later, you should be able to figure out most of the changes, again, with the exception of XLOOKUP, which is new. If you've never taken any of my classes before, I've got, for Excel, I've got beginner, expert, and developer lessons. Beginner, I believe there were five levels. Expert, there are now 11, and pretty soon I'm going to be starting the developer series. Developer focuses on macros and VBA programming. Now, I strongly recommend you check the Excel forums. Depending on where you're watching this video, you may see the forum for this class appear below the video. If not, go to my website, 599cd.com slash forums, and you will find the Microsoft Excel forum there. Check the forum for this class specifically because there may be updates or notifications or other things, and you can post any questions that you have there, and either myself, one of the forum admins, or even some of the other students might answer your questions for you. Okay, let's get started and talk about what's covered in today's class. Lesson one is going to talk about video time conversion. Basically, I've got a list of videos, basically files, that have a time index next to them. 12 minutes, 13 seconds, for example. And I'm going to flip them over to a different format. I'm going to dissect that string, pull the time portion out, and do some crazy math and stuff with it. And you'll see the, the intro to lesson one will explain in a lot more detail what this covers. Lesson two is going to begin looking at XLOOKUP. It's a new function in Excel 2019. XLOOKUP has gotten rid of a lot of the limitations of VLOOKUP, and we'll talk about what all those are. We'll do some simple XLOOKUPs. In lesson three, we're continuing with XLOOKUP. We're going to learn about returning multiple values, match mode, wildcard searches, and a lot more. Lesson four concludes our look at XLOOKUP with a look at two-way lookups, also called double lookups, because it's an X lookup inside of another X lookup. And I'm also going to break open the developer tab, which is in Excel, but it's hidden. We'll turn that on. And then I'll show you how to use a combo box, which you can see right there in the screen, where the user can pick from a drop-down list. And that value is saved in a cell, which you can then use for your calculations.